So this game kind of caught me by surprise. Uh, I, one, I didn't know it was coming out, and then two, uh, I didn't know it was kind of like Dark Souls, Bloodborne mixed with Castlevania, and it has like a loot type uh, based upgrading system. So anyways, I love you guys. Uh, I was going to do one video for this. This is going to be like a normal part one, but it's probably going to be the only video I do for this. I mean, this video would have to like just really kick some serious ass for me to try to do a full series. It, it's it's extremely brutal. <laughs> this game is really difficult. So um, I've poured about 15 hours into it as I'm I guess recording this and I didn't record any of that I just wanted just to play it just to get a feel for it and uh, kind of give you my honest opinion so with that being said I love you guys um, I was gonna give away two copies of this game uh, I don't know what system it's for uh, I, I know it's on PS4 but I'm not sure if it's on the other ones but it's gonna give away two copies any system it's available for uh, if you want a chance to win just like the video and leave a comment and when you found my channel so anyways with that being said guys let's give this game a shot Some call it a miraculous stone. A philosopher's stone. The Queen of England remains locked in combat. With Spain. The country where the sun never sets. For control of the entire world. Her forces weakening with every battle. The Queen and her inner circle turn to divination and alchemy, hiring pirates like us to find Enrita for them. With that power, they managed to defeat the invincible Spanish Armada. But now it seems they want to keep their methods a secret. It seems death won't stop chasing me. Alright, so for those of you unfamiliar with this game, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. I went ahead and played this intro before, so I kind of know what the hell's going on. I wanted to have a little bit of knowledge when I play this, so hope I don't make too many mistakes. And when we cut to the first actual level, this is, uh, if you guys have ever played, um, I'm talking about my age group here, <laughs> almost 30 years old, so, uh, right now, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this, it's in, like, recent, I'm not really sure, um, I'm thinking of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, when, uh, you play as Richter Belmont in the intro of the game, and then it kind of cuts to Alucard in the castle. <laughs> This is kind of the intro like that. So yeah, I've got a little bit familiar, uh, I guess, stuff with the game itself. And when we get to the first level, you're going to see the character I've been kind of creating. I'm only like level 22 in the game itself, but... Uh, I don't really need to go through there. But yeah, the game is pretty brutal. It's kind of, it reminds me of Dark Souls a lot. You're going to see a lot of people compare it to that. Uh, but I, I just, I don't know what it is, but I actually like this game better than Dark Souls. I seriously think it's, uh, that and Bloodborne are amazing games, but this game, just something about it. I don't know what it is, uh, when you see some of the bosses that I'm, I'm gonna try to show you, like, at least a couple in this video, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about, like, oh shit. 
No, you don't, bitch. You got stances, you got uh, magic you can use. I mean, there's it's a really in-depth combat system. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of using the bare bones, trying to just show you guys <laughs> how this game begins. I would say it's, uh, it's closer to Bloodborne than it is anything else. Mixed with a little bit of Castlevania. That's really what I can break it down to. Let me see if I can get this guy from behind. Nope. Okay, turn around. There's another guy in the room next to me. I may have some mistakes. I'm, I'm definitely going to get killed. I, I remember when I played this first time, I died a whole lot. But I was like, I'm going to do one video. I want to make it a good one. So... Yeah, all right, so far so good. Go ahead and open all these. None of this stuff even matters, that's what's amazing. After this, you kind of create the... You don't get to create a character, you always play as this guy, but you start kind of with nothing, and you kind of work your way back up. It seriously is like the start of Castlevania. Oh, there's a nice little save room. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and save it here. It's a really quick kind of save too. You just pray, now all the enemies respawn. If you've ever played Dark Souls, you kind of know the drill with that. Woo! It, you know what, I just realized Devil May Cry is really good comparison to this as well. I mean, this thing runs 1080p, 60 frames a second with like, no problem. Alright, it's locked from the other side. Looks like we go through here. I'm remembering correctly. Stamina is huge, uh, spirits and stuff, you can have these huge abilities that make like uh i'll show you all this stuff eventually <laughs> I, I seriously i heard about this game and i didn't know it was coming out so soon and then had a friend of mine tell me hey you should check this game out it's kind of like dark souls and bloodborne and i was like eh. you know i've played a lot of the game like those games i just struggle with them sometimes and uh what wound up happening is i downloaded it <laughs> And I was just like addicted. I played it for like an hour and I was like, eh, it's all right. And then I just kind of came back and next thing you know, you just can't pry the control out of my hands right now. I'm trying to remember exactly how we got to the other side of this. Looks like we go back up. Gonna keep on moving guys, keep on moving. All right, we were up here a minute ago, we killed everything. Uh, I think we can go down those steps again. I really got confused at this one part, and this is like the only part that I had trouble with. Oh, yeah, we're going the right way. Nice. Our goal is just, uh, if you've seen it right now, escape the Tower of London. It's mission level one, the man with the guardian spirits. I haven't really looked at all this stuff. I'll show you more of that stuff when I unlock everything. More in depth. Oh shit. Come on, bitch. Uh oh, two. Two at the same time is gonna be a little bit tricky. Especially when I don't have I don't have my items equipped either. Oh yeah. This might be bad. Might Oh shit! Three! Uh oh, abort, abort! Let's run up these steps. And let's just uh, let me get to a spot where I can actually equip my stuff. Alright, let me just uh, let me hang tight for a second. Set a shortcut. There we go. Oh, that's... Oh, that guy almost got me, too. Come on, bitch. Come on, man. I haven't fought on the steps before. All right, nice. Yeah, I just wanted to get my medicine. <laughs> I need to set it as a shortcut. You can get handguns in the... Like, you, you can get so much stuff in this game, uh... You start with kind of like a, I guess a bow and arrow, and then you work your way up. I got to where I had a rifle at one point. You can actually parry as well, like, show you different things. I'm, I'm not no expert at this game, but I definitely poured some time into it just to kind of get ready. Oh wait, hang on. I think we go this way, but I'm not. That doesn't look right. This is, this is where we came in at. And the way you level up in this game, it's a lot like uh, Dark Souls where you collect a certain type of item and what that basically does is you get so much you could level up and then the next time you level up you need more of that and more and more. And it, at some point it, it becomes a little like, I don't know, they uh, 
you need like a whole bunch. And I saw some mission levels require you to be like 125 rank, and I think that's insane. So I know that if, uh, if I was ever going to try to play this a lot, it would take forever for me to beat this game. Indeed, the pirates have served their purpose. The death of the leader of Japan will spark a war and a wonderful opportunity to acquire more. Go ahead and equip some other stuff. You can get all types of stuff. Battle axe? Eh, oh, I didn't get the. Uh, what's it? This? That's a spear, yes. I might try the battle axe. Why not? Go ahead and get some armor going really quick. Uh, you can just kind of sort it by rarity. These You're not going to find a whole lot of extra stuff in here. But I'll, I'll kind of show you. You want to see this? Look at my dude's hat. I haven't used a battle, uh, battle axe before. Thing feels weird. All right, nice. So far, so good. Yeah, I I can't use this. Not in uh, good conscience, man. That's too much. They're st now they actually have stamina as well. That's something I do love about the game. You can kind of see when your opportunity. Like they, there's no way they can block it if they have no stamina. So, kind of just can go. Go ham on him for a minute. Alright guys, heading over to this next area. This is actually, I think it's the next little boss fight area. Oh, here it is. Alright, Derek the Executioner. Come on, bitch. He uses a lot of stamina. Yeah, there's nothing on there right now. Fuck. You know, surprisingly, I'm, uh, when you get kind of familiar with the game, it's a lot easier. Ah, it's you. The man with the guardian spirit. If I die... The secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. It's time for your execution. All right, Derek. I see you, man. Oh shit! I'm trying to remember his attack pattern. First boss of the game usually isn't that difficult, but you just have to be really cautious. I I go. I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. I feel like when the I don't know how many games are gonna come out this year, but I would not be surprised. If you don't see like, if you see this on some top ten lists, I, I wouldn't be surprised because of how just unique it is. Uh oh, living weapon. Kingdom of gold. 
During two years' voyage, the Helloff was lost, the trow sank, while the hope vanished without a trace. The good news of the Blyder boat's hap was nothing but lies. Only leaf that remained. twist. But what awaited us in the Far East wasn't love. It was monsters and death. All right, so the level just kind of begins right after that cutscene we just saw. Uh, this is kind of what you can go basically do everything with. We saw this in the little intro area. I'll show you right now. Whenever you do it, little things pop up. You can level up your character, which I'll show you my current stats. I'm level 25. I'm actually higher than I thought I was. Uh, I've poured a lot of stuff into body, uh, heart, strength, and stamina. You kind of balance. I've heard spirits something really good that you want to level up. So I'm still kind of learning the game with that. Uh, as far as guardian spirits go, I've only been using this one. And I'll show you right now. Whenever I use it, uh, it's just insane damage that I'm doing. Uh, receive Kadoma Blessing. This is the stuff you can find these little things around. I think I'm saying it right. K Kadama. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, you get different types of things to go along. Each level has like... A certain amount of these little green characters you're supposed to find. Uh, I have this one equipped just because that's the stuff you use to level up your character. And I'm just, I don't know, I like that better. Um, haven't done any other stuff besides that. Summon a visitor, you can have other people play with you, do like co op and stuff. Uh, ready Jiu Jitsu, I have different things uh, that I have equipped. I can make my sword basically poisonous. Uh, or I can do different things with that. Uh, you can make offerings. You can basically sell your gear, get different things. I've been using the dual swords. I feel like that honestly is one of my favorite things. Uh, the way the rarity in this game works, purple is like the top top. Well, actually, I've heard there's green, but I haven't seen any of that yet. Uh, then blue, then yellow, and then you have white, which I don't know if I have any white gear. I think I sold it all. So that's kind of it, though. Um, and the cool thing about this game, I'll show you right now. So first off, here's how my character looks at level 25. I'm going to show you a lot of different things in this first level. Good thing is, it's like you can just replay them. I love the dual swords, because you can... I mean, you can chop somebody's head off. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, these guys are pretty much easy. Look at that shit. Isn't that crazy? 
All right, let me go ahead and search this. Since I'm redoing the level, I actually get loot for doing it again, which I think is kind of cool. Now, I don't know if since I've already completed it, there was a ladder back here. I don't know if it's still down. It might. Yeah, you have to kick it back down. Interesting. I'm not going to really care about searching all this stuff since I've already kind of discovered everything. Um, if you're looking to find, like, all the Kadama things, those... Probably the best one to get is the one where you get the experience stuff that I got equipped. And that's not until after you get past, like, the halfway point in this level. I'm trying to think of what else to really show you. Oh, yeah, the stances. Uh, right now, so you can kind of swap. I even have a little rifle. Like, look at this shit. I've killed a boss by this shit before, man. It's it's ridiculous. You can change your stance. Uh, let me see, let me get the dual swords out. So you can change that. Go well, up high. You can kind of keep them hidden. Down low, like it's so nice. I like this one just because you do a lot of damage. Look at that shit. Right, let me go ahead and grab this. Thing is, I'm pretty high rank for this level, so it might it's gonna be like a little bit easier for me. Uh, but I spent so much time grinding this first level. I seriously just ran around here and killed these enemies like for three hours straight. Now when you get the ladder down on the other side, I'll actually show you in this video how to do that. Let me I might just run past some of these enemies. You can that's one of the cool things. You can you can actually run straight to the boss. I think that's really badass. But I kinda want the experience. game is just so smooth, man. Uh, you can summon this. I think this honestly might be where somebody died. You can summon and you fight like a random enemy. And like, I don't know what it does. I don't know if you really get anything from it. I did it a lot when the game was kind of new to me. But after I discovered it's like, what's the point? I uh, stopped doing it, so. But those little green things, the ones I was kind of showing you to give you those special abilities. Oh, this is about to be nuts. This guy actually looks like a high level. He's taking a lot of damage, too. And I got somebody shooting fire arrows at me. Oh, shit, come on. When I level up my character, I've poured, like, everything I have into the body. Uh, which is just, like, basically health and also your uh, resistance against, like, poison and perilous and stuff like that. I'm going to show you right now where to kick down that ladder. If you're interested, this is actually like the first time I've done a video like this where I've really played it and uh, kind of got familiar with it. Usually I do everything kind of blind. All of this is live. Here, I'll show you. Go ahead and descend right here. You can actually hop off. You won't take that much damage. I'll go ahead and get this as well. Uh, this is what you want to kick down. You kick that down. You run around the corner. There's a little save point. Not that it matters now. I don't really need that either. I'm going to run back up. You have to run through. There's a top area. I'll show you right now. There's... Oh, yeah. Th these are the guys you want to farm. If you're trying to level up your character early on, uh, what I basically did after I knocked down the ladder, I would come there, kill him. Look how much stuff I get. It's the 1911 right there on the bottom. When I kill one of these guys, you'll see how much it increases. It's a pretty good amount, too. Okay, what? 20... 22... 18... So it's a pretty good amount. Let's see if I can knock this guy off. Uh oh. Bitch! <laughs> I love doing that. Nah, and then I would just run down there, save it, come right back, and just do it over and over until I get enough. But for now, it's not the best way to level up for me at this point. I think it's like good to get to like level 15 doing that, and then after that, it becomes really, really difficult. I can't believe I'm actually playing this game. Like, I was like, I was so tempted to not make a video for it just because I was like, you know what? I'm going to play and beat this game. Uh, I don't really know if people will be interested to see this or not. I just got hit by that, really. But it's cool if uh, any and all support you guys drop on this, just even if it's a one time thing. It really means a lot to me. All right, so we can go. We can hop down. We can basically run around and collect all that stuff. Uh, there, There's nothing you get from it. Uh, it kind of has like a little story it tells sometimes. Here's the other little prey thing. 
I really just wanted to show you the first level and like the combat and just kind of talk about the game more than anything. The, I've shown you all the cutscenes that I've seen though up to this point as well, so. Oh, I hate this guy right here. That's <laughs> so ridiculous. I guess I could hop down that way. There's a little spot down here you can go as well. Some of the bigger enemies in this area are actually really difficult. You can forge your weapons, you can make them even better. Uh, which I think is really badass. This is a really tough spot if you're under rank. You're supposed to run through here. Now you see this little... I'm not really sure what you call this. It'll be a big guy's spawn. It becomes a pretty common type of enemy. Oh shit. See how much damage it took? I mean, I'm pretty high ranked. Fuck this. Oh, I missed! I, don't, I need to figure out the shooting in this game a little better. Uh oh, you fall down? Some of that execute. Watch how much damage that does. Yeah, it didn't do much to him. But the good thing is it doesn't really use too much stamina or anything like that. Nice. I actually have enough, I might be able to level up my character. Which, uh... Oh yeah, the key to residence, that's what you want. That's what you basically get to run through this door right here in front of us. Let me go ahead and take this guy out the game. I just didn't, I seriously didn't think I would like this game as much. It's, uh... Oh shit, this guy was in here, I forgot about him. It just really kind of took me by surprise. I went from, I don't know if I'll play it, to, like, highly addicted. <laughs> Alright, nice. I don't need to collect other things. I'm good. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. You can see where people have died. Oh, when you first come into this area, if you run down to the right, there's actually, if you hop down, there'll be one of those little Kadama things, like, right down there. Uh, but I'm going to run over here and save it at this one. Yeah, this door, you're basically supposed to get to the other side of this, open it up. And then the boss is actually on that ship way over there. Alright, let me see how much I got. I need 7,000 for my next level. That's, uh... Damn, that's a lot. But he's on that ship over there. Alright, see what we can do, guys. I'll show you right now. A little bit of, uh, poison. I, I've used Perilous before as well. I just think poison's nice because... It always takes the damage. I don't know, like over time. So seriously, I I I don't know how many times I'm probably gonna mention it in this video, but Castlevania. I I'm a huge fan of Symphony of the Night. All right, here we go, guys. A bit of super time, bitch. Going in on this fool. I didn't drop two purples. Holy shit. Oh, I'm coming for you, bitch. Now, that was the spirit thing that I just used. Uh, that's when you level up your spirit and everything. That's what it kind of makes that better, basically. But I will tell you this. There are, like, three other ones you can gain. Ow, really? Did I just, like, run into that? Like, really? Come on, bitch. Nice. I have 7,000 now. I'm tempted. I think I could get through this little area. Uh, let's see. I think that spot falls through right there. There's another one in front of me right here, too. I'm going to go and grab that antidote. I think where that other guy was. Um... You kind of have to kill this guy. Oh shit. I like when you knock him on the ground because you can do that. It's not really an execution. Holy sh- oh there it is. Nice. 
Run up to him, hit triangle. He does a lot of damage. You can do block parries, you can do all kinds of moves, I'll show you. I don't know if this guy blocks. Nice, there we go. <laughs> Let's fucking get it, man. Woo! I, I think you are supposed to run down here. You take a little bit of damage. Oh, shit. A little more damage than I wanted to take, but I'll take it. My dude's still, still cooking. Am I actually still on fire? <laughs> That's so badass. All right, let's go up top. Looks like we get another one of those. Yeah, they're right there. I like this stance just for the uh, boss and everything. Oh, this dude's pissed. Come on, bitch. Oh, wow, I no actually knocked him down. I'm reminded a lot of Tenchu when I play this game. I don't know if it's because it's a ninja slash samurai type game, but that's what it reminds me of. Oh shit. Alright, nice. Now, I don't know if you can invade other people's worlds and stuff. I haven't really had that issue. Then again, I've even though I have been playing online, this is all online. I can summon somebody like right now, but uh, I just haven't really messed with it too much. Okay, what did I do that for? I remember killing that guy. Uh, not through there. Let's see. Let me go back up top. Maybe I'm supposed to go across these rooftops if I'm trying to remember every little detail about it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Did I just go around that guy? Like, <laughs> the entire way. Hello, bitch! Aw, oh, I didn't get him in time. I don't like these guys because, uh... They're on the ground too much. Kind of hard to hit them. Oh, I'm good on those. That guy's just chilling. I have a lot of this, uh... This stuff. Oh, you know what? I just run through here and I can... Unlock the little save spot. I don't know if there's a guy back here or not. I can't remember. Alright, let's run this way. It's funny, with all this stuff coming out, you got, like, For Honor. Uh, you got this. It's like, I don't know, it's it's kind of funny how a lot of games that are similar always seem to come out around the same time. Uh, this has, like, a samurai ninja type vibe to it. And then, uh, you know, it's just kind of ironic. I, I would use one of my elixirs, but I think I'll wait. Oh, there's a guy up top. Um, I could probably run for it. Let me just try it. Here we go. Excuse me. Are you kidding? Oh, no, you don't, bitch. Oh, no, you don't, bitch. Come on, open it, open it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. All right, let me go ahead and save it. Level up my character. I'll get to kind of show you that as well. Um, everything resets there, so... It's kind of difficult what you want to... I've been trying to do like a good balance, but if you'll notice, like, different things give... I don't know, like, the skill seems like a pretty good one right there. Uh, Dexterity, I've never really been a, a fan of that one in, like, any game. Uh, this one mainly affects spears and other stuff. It kind of shows you in the bottom. This one's, uh, swords and bows, which... That's a, I mean, that's a pretty good one. I'm trying to think of what else. You know what? Something I haven't shown you. I think I may put this in stamina. Because I need the 25 for that. Or this one just makes me be able to carry stuff more. Uh, your max rate and everything is helped out a little bit. Plus, you get a samurai point for that. But you get one here as well. The ranged weapon will have more damage. But this will make... I get key pulse. Uh, ninjutsu power, which... Actually, really nice. What about this? Spear bond. Ah, shit. I'm tempted to do this because it gives my uh, my dual swords a little bit of plus one. You get, like, everything on this one. I think I'll do that. Skill's definitely the way to go on, on uh, some occasions. 
Uh, and I, I might do some different things here and there. Let me show you as well. Uh, where is it at? Titles. Oh, you, yeah, you can prestige. Like, I got this. Oh, gold urn. That actually might be really nice. Close human combat damage. The problem I have with stuff like that is the problem with not everything's eventually going to be human. You know what I'm saying? Like, this level, yeah, it's nice, but gold urn might be a must there. Damage from fall, not too worried about that. I'd, I'd die from falling off a cliff. Ninjutsu power, I think I may do that or the item drop. Let's go ahead and do that one. And then I'll change. Now, key will be next. All right, that's that prestige. You have title list. You can kind of see what you're unlocking. I think it's really cool. Uh, gameplay record. You can kind of see how much time I've spent. I don't know if it has that on there. Let me see. Other? Yeah, let's see other. Mission achievement rate. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a lot of items. All right, and then you get your status. You kind of look at everything there. Skill customization. This is stuff that I was trying to show you guys as well. I'll show you right now how it works. Now, some of this isn't really necessary when fighting regular enemies. Maybe down the road it might be helpful. But a lot of times, since I use so much stamina, you don't want to be caught doing something like, like that right there. No, no way Jose on a, uh, <laughs> on a boss or whatever. Then you have these things. Uh, increases key recovery when you switch uh, stances during flux. I don't even know what flux is yet. I have this thing I can unlock. Go ahead and learn that. I got skill sam or sam samurai skill points. I can't speak. Stuff I really want is these. But you gotta like level up your character. The more you level up, the more you can unlock these things. I'm just kind of going through unlocking anything I can. Uh, this should be it. And then you got your items. You can kind of just use that one. Just give you some more of that stuff. Uh, this boss I'm about to fight is not too bad. Let me go ahead and pray one more time just in case I die. The other currency on the bottom right, you see the stuff I was using all the way to the bottom. The one above that is gold, and you use that to essentially level up your... Uh, your weapons, you can buy different things with the gold from like the vendor. There we go. Alright, let's do this, guys! This is gonna be rough. If I can just... I may actually not get it the first time, because I, I struggle with this boss. I probably died maybe a handful of times, for sure. But I just like how they got cutscenes and stuff. It, it's just really well done. Alright, here we go, bitch. Come on. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm just, I like trying that. The next mission I'm supposed to do is like the second. Oh god. I could have blocked right there. I'm waiting to use my my big skill or whatever. Oh, let me go ahead and heal up. I shouldn't have took damage there. That's bullshit. Woo! I blocked it just in time. That has like the ninja guy feel to it. Maybe it's... Ooh, that was close. Alright, nice. This is the part that's kind of difficult. You're gonna have to just be careful.
Come on, bitch! I actually went off right there with that. Ah, oh, I got hit with that. I knew I was going to get hit with that as soon as it happened. So far, so good. Going a lot better. Nice. That was that. Let me collect everything before we move forward. Nice. Against Oni is implicit. As is your skill with English. My name is Hanzo Hattori. And you are? Call me William. I'm here in pursuit of someone. An enemy, perhaps? Hunting a person down in a strange land will not be easy. If you lend me your strength in fighting Oni, I will help you in return. Well then. <laughs> Dawn is breaking. Kind of shows you what, what you get after you beat it. And actually, it's kind of worth doing some of those missions. Um, but yeah, that's it. Wanted to just kind of share this game with you guys. See how you like it. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. And check this out. Look at this over here. Mission level 15. That's not as bad as I thought. This is the one I was talking about. Look at that shit. 125? <laughs> like, really? Let me go ahead and level up my character. A little starting point. We got the shrine. I'll go ahead and do that really quick as well since I'm already here. Look at all that, man. This skill seems to give you so much. All right, let me go use this. I got to focus more on my life than anything. I'll probably offer some stuff, sell everything. Uh, there's a blacksmith. This is where I was That's talking it. about using... You can forge your stuff. I don't know what the hell soul match is. Increase the level of equipment. Really? I don't know if it's worth it to do that. Is it kind of like the infusion system from Destiny? I actually got a better set of these, even though it's not as rare. Actually, I don't know if that is. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's just see something really quick. So if you use this, a level 10 item, a level 12 item, it now the one I have been using. Wow, really? And it doesn't cost that much at all. That is so sick. So you, if you find something you really like, like an outfit or whatever, you can bring all of it forward. Oh, I got to do that with my favorite armor. I'll show you right now, like, some of my stuff that I have. There's a dojo where you can do training missions and stuff. Uh, you can play in different online modes. You can either help people or you can, I don't know, you can complete a mission or you can just cooperate with others. I don't know what this one is. Storehouse, just get items and everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it, though. Uh, thank you guys for everything. I love you. Um, if you want more, let me know. But for now, this is it. And as always, stay classy.